this is my extra extra short it looks great This is the Kenafinity Terra 4K. It's a really exciting cinema quality camera that comes out of China. A lot of info, misinfo, pixel peeping. I mean, I think we've all been doing a lot of that versus the Blackmagic cameras versus the Sony. And so people start going crazy. I mean, they really have been going nuts. This camera is not fit for professional use. I could never take this camera on a real set. Don't take it then. I feel so excited and confident about the images I've been able to produce thus far, about the camera itself, its solidity, its tremendous value. So this is my extra short review of the camera. Love the images, wish the low pass issue wasn't there. Really happy I bought it and firmware bugs and keep watching. Okay. Canon is known for their color science. Sony is known for their technical excellence. Panasonic is kind of... So we end up in these camera wars and then there are these qualities that are very difficult to talk about which are the feel it feels more cinematic or the motion cadence or things that you can't quite quantify that everyone also has a personal take on. Here's some more footage. So what are the drawbacks? The optical low pass filter isn't positioned properly and you're getting these sensor flares in this kind of grid-like pattern. You get those at small f-stops, at f16, f22, when the light source is very tiny, like a pan sun, but not when the light source is diffuse. It is a bug, it's not a feature. What are you guys doing? Checking monitor lag. Okay. Oh, how do you do this? So, so we need another camera. There's been a lot of chatter online about the laggy monitor. There is a latency between what happens in real life and what you see on the monitor. As I've demonstrated, being able to pull focus, you saw the shot with the guy riding a bike. And that was like a, what, 100 yard focus pull? The latency doesn't bother me at all. One bug, the whole screen went black and there's just a little X in the middle. And that was scary. The camera just shut down. I don't know what it was. I took out the battery and it was back fine, but that is scary. That is a bug that needs to be fixed. I had to think like that in order to deal with the fact that whatever best part of me might be gone forever. It is interesting which moment you capture this person in.
you're talking about making cinema quality images on a budget, which frankly, that's what we're talking about. What are you going to spend your money on? And to me, image quality trumps menus. The image comes first. What I want is for any camera I use to get out of the way and let me shoot. If I need to adjust a setting mid-shot, do it, but get past that and get into shooting. And so, in that sense, how simplistic the camera is, it doesn't have a lot of buttons, it doesn't have a lot of easy setups and this and that. It lets me do that, I'm just shooting, I just set and go. No aqua, drown in a mosh pit. I'm on my youth, yeah. Drink on that juice, yeah. Waves like no aqua, drown in a mosh pit. I'm on my youth, yeah. Drink on that juice, yeah. Four hundred dollars on my fan, enough to get by. She see the ocean, I swim it from that in the feathers of life. I only got shine for the night. Arcade games for the night. They couldn't leave, I see burning up holes in the gas of her diet. Low light sensitivity, and as a person who often shoots actors with darker skin tones, how good is your camera in low light? And size and weight. Not enough people are talking about that. I mean, the the Ursa Mini, the thing is huge. I have nothing Mini about huge. Yeah, I'll probably just stop down because the dynamic range would be the same. No, it's not nearly as extended. It should be a lot more stable. If you want to just take out viewfinder or monitor, security against your body. This camera delivers great images in that small size. So you can think about intimate shots where you're right next to your actor, where you're in the back seat of a car, where you're right there. You can make cinema out of that type of access. And I'm going to stop talking and just pretend like I'm doing something interesting. Shouts to Iron Film on EOS HD, Waylo, Nicholas, Michael, Ian, Dale. Shouts to Vince, Noah, Ari, all my people, Philip. Shout out to Andre. Keep watching. Keep shooting. Experiment. Have fun. Here's some more footage. Thanks so much for watching this review. I hope you got a good sense of what it's like to own this camera and what are the types of images it's capable of producing.
I hope you check out my movie. It's called 72 Hours of Brooklyn Love Story. It just came out a few weeks ago. It's streaming, it's on demand, a whole bunch of places. It's the biggest thing I've ever done. I hope you support the channel and more importantly, I hope you keep making stuff and having fun. Thanks so much. Bye.